Since the project still has several super allocated resources, we will proceed leveling out the resources. The leveling of resources is a reasonably complex algorithm which, based on certain criteria, will remove simultaneity between conflicting activities. Click on Tools, Level Resources. In the box Resource Leveling, choose the desired options and click on Level Now. Observe that after the redistribution, the resources do not appear highlighted in red anymore. Click on Window, Remove Split. Now access the menu View, More Views. Choose Leveling Gantt and click on Apply. This mode will enable monitoring of the project before and after redistribution, differentiating the bars representing these stages, respectively in green and blue colour. Observe that the task recording announcer of stage has been displayed by three days. Should it become necessary to clear the levelling, access the menu Tools, Level Resources and click on Clear Leveling. Costs, together with terms of delivery, are certainly the most visible areas of project management. Determining the exact budget for a project is a function of the terms for completion of activities and the cost of resources allocated in performing them. For example, if a resource involves a cost of 10 per hour and is used in an activity during two whole days, its cost will be 10 times 16 hours, amounting to 160. Applying this procedure to all activities, one can use the estimation from bottom to top or bottom up to calculate the cost of the project, where the cost of stages will be the sum of the costs of activities and the cost of the project will result by totaling the cost of stages. On the view bar, click on Task Usage. Click on View, Table, Cost. In this table, we can visualize the cost of resources, of activities, stages, and of the project. Observe that the task script writing has as its single resource the script writer, with a standard rate of $3,000 per month and has a duration of four days. Since it has been defined by the standards of the calendar that this month has 20 work days, the project calculates the total cost of this task, $600. With the pointer positioned on the table, details, give a click with the right button of the mouse, enable the option, cost, and disable, work. Check the cash flow of the project. The values are displayed for the dates in which they are dispersed. Select the activity, on-site recordings, and click on the button, go to selected task. Click on window, split. Select the form below, and on the view bar, select resource sheet. Let's visualize the way accumulation of costs is made for each resource. Since the assistants are paid pro rata, their remuneration will be spread along the task. The remaining work resources will be paid at the end. Material resources will be paid in the beginning. These forms of remuneration for resources have been defined through the column accrue at in the resource sheet. Also in the table Task Usage, it is possible to attribute fixed costs to the tasks. The amount of $50 will be required to transport the production team for making the recordings at the company. 
Determine that this payment will be made in the beginning through the column Fixed Cost Accrual. Another way of checking the cost of resources is consulting the Resource Usage. Click on View, Table, Cost. This mode demonstrates the total cost of the resource in the project and the cost of a resource per activity. One of the most important points in project management is to ensure adequate generation of records. And these records should be capable of providing support for the decision-making process of management and of the project team. Click on View, Reports. Microsoft Project Reports are divided into five categories with several predefined reports. As an example, we can analyze the report Project Summary. Click on Overview and then on Select. Select Project Summary. This report shows dates, duration, work, costs, status and notes. In the window that displays the report, you can configure the page and send it to be printed. Reports will only be displayed in the mode Print Preview if a printer is installed. You have several options to choose from, so you can select the most appropriate to meet your needs. Overview presents generic reports such as Project Summary, First Level Tasks, Critical Tasks, Stages and Calendars. Current activities are reports that analyse the follow-up and control of the project, identifying the activities that are pending, delayed, concluded and underway. Costs are the financial reports of the project, including cash flow, budgets, activities and resources that have run over budget limits, among others. Assignments are reports that identify the attributions of resources to activities. They involve the functions, terms of delivery, lists of pending activities and super allocated resources. Workload reports that those that distribute the resources and activities along a period of time with their respective workloads. Apart from presenting all these models, Microsoft Project also permits creation of customised reports. Any view mode of the project can be printed. As an example, we will print the Network Diagram and the Gantt Chart. Click on Network Diagram. Access the menu File, Print Review. Click on Multiple Pages in order to view the entire printout. If you wish to change the printing configuration, click on Page Setup. On the View bar, click on Gantt Chart. Click on File, Print. We have the option of printing the entire project or choosing a certain period on the time scale. Click on Preview and then on Page Setup. Using the palette view, you can choose to print all the columns of the spreadsheet or to print just some of the columns in all of the pages. Preview all the pages and then give the printing command. <laughs> 